<clears throat> all right hey guys so um i uh recently finished the restoration of this american longbow um so when i uh went to test it out it shot great but there was um only one issue um that i noticed um the knocks i had on the wood arrows i had um for this bow um they were uh, very loose when i um was putting them up against the string so they were tight enough to stay there but like i felt like i had to um guide them and um you know if you know i basically picked up the bow and just left the arrow there it definitely would have dropped off um on its own and uh so that wasn't great so i went ahead and bought these knocks these are basically Easton um, conventional knocks and um, apparently see how this kind of snaps on it stays no problem the other ones I had did not snap on like that so I basically was tasked with having to remove the knocks that were glued onto the wood arrow so um, I had to look up how best to um, get rid of those um, those knocks off off the wood arrow and you know how to loosen the glue so um, basically the um, the answer was heat so a lot of people said boil water and then dip the knock into the water and it'll kind of uh, you know get the glue um, you know kind of all loose and you could then remove the knock but the problem with boiled water um that that would be fine with aluminum and carbon but with wood you know i definitely read that the water could seep into the wood and swell the arrow and affect performance so i didn't want to do that so someone had mentioned getting a heat gun which luckily i already owned i got that right here so don't use it much but i'm glad i have it so I basically, um, you know, started to use that and then I realized that I didn't have to use, uh, remove the knock from the arrow at all. All I had to do was, um, you know, once it was warmed up a little, I just had to pinch the tip of the arrowhead and uh, that solved all my problems. So these are the knocks that are on there and they were just way too wide. And uh, when I originally looked up how to fix that, they, um, you know, they basically said, oh, you know, add some uh, floss to the, uh, the string. I'm like, to be honest, I, I don't think that's a great solution uh, from a prof professional uh, standpoint. Um, because the thread, you know, the floss is going to, you know, basically wear out over time. Um, so basically, I just, um, once I heated this up, I'm not going to do it because I have no plug nearby, but um, this thing gets really hot, so you don't have to do it long. Just enough to basically pinch it, and um, that seemed to do the trick. So now, I've got this, and it's much better. I could actually probably pinch it a little more, but honestly... That seems perfect. So I'm gonna tr test one more. How's it going, Ash? My cat, you probably can't see her in the video, but she's hovering. I'm gonna grab this one. There we go. Hey, Ash. So, here we go. So this is um, my arrow and um, it's fine. So I actually was originally planning to take these white knocks off and replace them with these red ones, but in the end, I didn't even have to. So if you ever have the problem where this arrow is not staying on, you know, all you have to do is take a heat gun. You could probably use boiling water, again, if it's carbon or an aluminum arrow, but with wood, you definitely want to stay away from the water. And, um, yeah, all you have to do is heat it up a little, 
and pinch. Be careful with your fingers. I did kind of get a little tiny bit of sever here. Like I said, it gets very hot, so uh, just be careful. And um, yeah, that's it. So that's how I kind of solved the, uh, the loose knock problem on my bed.